I am now 15 miles from uh, the Star of Rock Lock and Dam where I uh, spoke last and I'm walking out onto a bridge that crosses the Fox River and we're at Dayton, Illinois, just a tiny little town near Ottawa and I'm going to go out on this walkway here and uh, then I will have a view of the Fox River and the dam and the powerhouse at the Dayton Dam. This uh, powerhouse was built about 1925. It has three generators in it and it's uh, the dam is about 600 feet long. This bridge is uh, only 20-25 years old. There, there was an older bridge that was down at water level that got damaged by the ice. We might see the uh, abutments for that. I hope the wind doesn't make too much noise on the camera but that's uh, the dam arch buttress concrete type 600 feet long and uh, there's a mill race that goes uh, on the left there where you see that little green house and I will show you a, a, a still picture of that when I get home and you can see the powerhouse here and it looks like there's water flowing through and I believe it is operational I have been in that dam but it was shortly after a major flood bridge is trembling I thought I was gonna go over a semi just went by but uh, the water uh, at that time during that flood uh, came over the dam uh, it was level with the top of the dam and it came into the powerhouse up to those windows and knocked the glass out and I was down in the bowels of that with my brother and the operator at the, uh, that time it was not operational they were uh, working on it bringing it back up uh, into operation 1925 this was built there's three big Westinghouse generators in there and uh, now I'm gonna go back across the bridge and uh, drive down a little drive to that and uh, the old bridge used to be down uh, I can't even tell exactly where it was but we're just a little bit above the water level and it's pretty good fishing down there below the dam and I will Trespass. I hope I don't get thrown off, but there's a little road there I'll attempt to go up. Okay, meet you back in the car. This is an aerial view of the Dayton Dam on the North American Hydro website. So that's a good shot that I wouldn't be able to uh, give you myself. And uh, this is what it looks like inside. There's the, the generators. And below that, if you're interested in any of this information here that uh, has the, the specs, they call that Project 287 because they own a bunch of dams. There's various specs as to the generators and uh, the lay of the land and the dam and all of that. Or you can go to their website and look at that. But that's kind of interesting too. North American Hydro, the sign says. I believe I'll be trespassing. I'm not authorized, but if they throw us out, so be it. Maybe I can talk to somebody. There's the transformers. I think they sell the power to Illinois Power. It's uh, The red house there is not, that's the dam keeper or used to be or something like that, but it's not the powerhouse. There's a trash rack up there where there's a little crane. I remember seeing that to separate the logs. Hope I don't get thrown out. Right there, that blue thing. That would lift the logs out from in front of the, the race. That's where it enters the... Uh, Powerhouse, and this is the mill run. I call it mill run. And that's really all there is to see right here. I'm not going to get out because they might put me in handcuffs. Turning around. I'm going to walk down by the water, so I'll park here where I first pulled in. Nobody said anything to me. 
They probably don't care. They're eating lunch. I'm down here below the powerhouse now, and you can see water coming out of there. Presumably it has run through the uh, turbines. The turbines are down low, and the generators are up high behind those windows. There's three of them. I'll give you all the specs on those uh, when I get home. I've got it written down. They got a website. Imagine how high that water was that it came up to those windows. There's the dam. The water is really flowing fast and there are several fishermen right behind me here. Canoe Porter. This is a very popular place for uh, canoeing, this uh, Fox River. There's a bunch of rapids. This goes up into the uh, Geneva area, Geneva, Illinois, Batavia, St. Charles. You can see that water pretty fast. And I think that there's about a, a 20 or 25 foot head there. So, But there would be times when uh, there isn't enough water for this to operate. There's a big, dead, ugly fish right down there. Doesn't smell yet, though. And there's the bridge where I was standing a few minutes ago. These fishermen just told me they had caught a big walleye a little bit earlier. Correction, that's a 29-foot head. And here's the transformers. I thought I had written down what the voltage was before they run it into these transformers and step it up. And then up the wires it goes, and where it goes, nobody knows. You know, probably just, I, I think it's uh, sold through Illinois Power. And then uh, it goes into the grid, and really you don't know who's actually going to use the, the power. Now I'm getting back in the car and I'm driving about uh, 10 miles to Marseilles, Illinois, where we will look at the long defunct Marseilles uh, powerhouse. And I'm going to grab a sandwich. They got a good place there to get hot dogs. So I'm going to get that and uh, I'll see you when we get there. Marseilles, Illinois. I'm in the little town of Marseilles, Illinois, and I just passed over the uh, Illinois Michigan Canal. And uh, in just a second here, this little, or this is the uh, Illinois Michigan Canal right here, this little bridge. And then the next little bridge is the, the mill race, or penstock, or whatever the, the correct name is, for the, uh, <coughs> the water that goes into the, uh, the mill, or the uh, hydroelectric plant, rather. And I'm going to walk up on that bridge which crosses the Illinois River. The dam is on the left, and what is left of the powerhouse is on the right. And remember, this one is not operational. A park right here. Public parking. At least I'm not illegal here. I'm up on the bridge, and this is the Illinois River coming through this dam. Now the locks are a little farther down the river. I'm not going to those. There's a separate channel that goes to the locks. There was a tremendous flood here two years ago in Illinois, and barges broke loose and uh, jammed into the dam here, where I'm at these last three locks, where all of that uh, temporary gravel is. They worked there for a long time with tremendously large equipment uh, and re re removing the sunken barges and repairing those uh, gates on the dam. A good part of uh, Marseilles, if you're in France you'd say Marseille, but here in the Midwest we say Marseilles. Uh, there were two or three hundred houses flooded and ruined in town, upstream here from the dam. A flood that has never occurred. Some blamed it on the barges, damaging the gates where they couldn't open. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but you can see there's a lot of turbulence here, even though there isn't much of a head there. Now, the uh, actual canal that goes to the power plant is uh, 
farther over there. I'm going to see if we can get uh, over there and get a view of that. But uh, this is looking upstream, of course, and I'm going to turn around and uh, look at the power plant, which is about a quarter mile down the river. And that's it with the red roof, the red tile roof. And I'm going to drive over behind that. Remember, this is not operational. However, I will show you some old photos of it inside and out. I was in it before it went out of uh, uh, business in about uh, 1991, early 90s. And this was built in about 1911 by the Illinois Traction System, which was the inner urban here that went about between Spring Valley and Joliet, Illinois with a sidetrack to Streeter. And I have been to the Illinois Railway Museum several times in uh, Union, Illinois and ridden on one of the original interurban cars which has been restored and in daily use there. And uh, the names of all the cities are still on that scroll that they move up and down uh, on the, uh, uh, to tell what city it's going to. It's a beautiful building. And I believe it's on the National uh, Parks Reg Restoration or whatever they call that, trying to preserve it. And they had talked about restoring it and putting in uh, new generators, but there's a lot of uh, controversy and costs to all of that. I'm a little higher up on the bridge now, leaning over the railing, toward the highway that is. And uh, that's what it looks like from this side. It's, it's pretty neat. And you can see there's still some white water just on this side of the bridge. The fishing was pretty good there, but now they don't allow it because there was too much littering. You know, there's always some idiots that ruin everything. Well, I had a nice hot dog, Chicago style, and some excellent french fries at a local little uh, eatery here. This is what's left of the canal or waterway that went uh, from the river above the dam here to the other side of the road. And I don't know if there was a power plant. This is the old Nabisco building, out of business, as everything else in America is. But they did not make crackers there. They made all the boxes for all their uh, cereals and, and crackers and whatnot in this plant. It's, it's gone, but there was a race, mill raceway for that too. And that, that's nothing but cattails growing up in there. And I'm gonna walk just a little farther and show you the one that went to the power plant. I'm on the next little bridge here, and this is the canal that went to the power plant. There's still water in it. Yep, that's right. We have and this is a view of the canal from the other side of the bridge. It's probably about a quarter mile before it gets into the power plant itself. And it goes on this side of the old Nabisco building. Later that was Field Industries. They did some kind of containers also, but it's empty now. I'm right above the dam now, and these are the two gates that would allow water to get through this canal and uh, to the power plant. And this was all flooded, and they got these big bags of sand here. I'm leaning up against one, but uh, I tell you, in another flood, you might as well fill them with uh, styrofoam shipping peanuts. That, that wouldn't hold anything. I don't know who put those up, well it's Corps of Engineers or somebody, but that, that wouldn't hold anything. Hope it never happens again. But anyway, that's where the water leaves the Illinois River and goes into the canal or penstock over to the power plant. So now I'm going to drive to the power plant. Okay, let's see what we got back here. We'll do a little more trespassing. This was the access road to it, and there's a gate down here. But we'll see what they have. Yeah, there's all the transformers. I don't think they got anything to do with this plant anymore, but there's the, the power plant. Not a very good view. I'm gonna move to another row where we can see just a little bit uh, more of uh, what is a, really a beautiful building and be sure and look at my still pictures 
of what that building looks like. But there is a van over there. I do understand that from time to time they open this up and uh, allow field trips or visitors in there. And there's a sign here that says Marseille's hydroelectric plant. So pause your video if you want and you can read this. Some pretty interesting information there. I'm not going to uh, scan that very long, but you can uh, s s pause the video and take a gander at that. This is the best view you're going to get of this thing. And when this was really originally constructed in 1911, it had uh, seven 400 kilowatt generators built by GE and Westinghouse with LaFell and Sampson water wheels. Over time, the generators were upgraded such that over one uh, megawatt could be generated. And this plant operated from 1911 to 1989 when it was abandoned. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a long one. And uh, this concludes the video by Tubal Cain on hydroelectric power in uh, they sell county and thereabouts. Three three different plants, two operational, one defunct. So long for now. This is an old photo in the public domain of the Marseilles hydro plant. And I have been in there. And it's uh, quite beautiful, really. Look at how ornate those generators are. I'm not sure if they're still in there or if they have been removed. Here's one more photo that I found on the internet of the powerhouse and uh, it's getting to be in pretty bad shape here. The roof is going too bad. This is an interesting schematic of the Illinois waterway and you can see here the star rock and dam is uh, the elevation approximately 458 feet above sea level and the Marseille dam is 483 feet above sea level. There's Lake Michigan at 578 and then the Mississippi River where the Illinois meets the Mississippi at Grafton uh, and it tells you the mileage here. It's uh, 326 miles up the Illinois River to Chicago. Some of you might find this interesting. <laughs>